So we have a table, we have a daily Monday through Friday. And on that table, we give out free Quran, we give out candy, iced tea, and pamphlets. And we're very non intrusive. So if someone wants to come to us, then okay. But if they're not interested, and we never say, hey, you want, we don't, we're never like, hey, learn about Islam or I don't, you'll go to hell or, well, it's like, hey, uh, well, we were very friendly. However, we have had every two weeks or so we have an incident. So once we had two people come, two guys, and they started saying, oh, is this where, like, is this the terrorist table? Is this where I can join ISIS? Uh, yeah, that we had this woman who just started yelling, like really loud. And there was uh, another girl who was a Hindu Muslim, and she was trying to tell like, okay, this is not true. But she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we had another guy who came and started yelling, and it was funny because he was like, the Quran says this, and my friend was there. He said, okay, show me where. And that guy, he didn't even know how to locate verses. And so my friend was like, hey, you're yelling at us, you're saying that we're all these terrible things. But in, and you say you know a lot about Islam, but you don't even know how to locate the verse. So. Technically, the term means you know, fear of Islam. Uh, I've written about this in the past that I don't know that that's a useful term. We use it all the time. I don't think people are afraid of Islam, certainly not since 9-11. I think it's, it's more a fear of Islam, you know, and a hatred uh, of Islam. I think there's lots of reasons that people are Islamophobic. You know, some of that comes from uh, ignorance. You know, if you look at the, the Pew Forum on Religion and Public Life, over 60% of Americans, when they're asked, say they don't know someone who's a Muslim. And so that creates issues. You know, if the only Muslim you see on television is bin Laden, you know, that's not a good representative of, of Muslims. And if you don't know anything uh, different, that creates problems. So I think that's one of the issues. You know, A, people don't know a lot about Muslims. B, they're very negative images, uh, not just in film and television. I actually teach a class on film and television and religion. And there's all sorts of negative images, portrayals about uh, Muslims. That creates uh, problems. Yeah, so absolutely. There's been an increase in hate crimes against Muslims for the last few years. You've seen that uh, uh, growing since 9-11. Uh, uh, the Council on American Islamic Relations Care puts out a Muslim civil rights report every year, and I think their last report from 2018 was something like a 15%, 17% increase in hate crimes from the year before. Part of that, I think, is certainly due to the rhetoric of the president. You know, the fact that you have a president who very famously, before he became president in March of 2016, you know, then candidate uh, Donald Trump said very famously on CNN, I think Islam hates us. So if you have a president saying that, you know, I think this religion hates us, that creates problems for people because, of course, as, as a good American, you know, you follow your president. And I mean, at this point, he wasn't the president, he was a candidate. But, you know, when he says those kinds of things, that's problematic. So the Shura Council, which is the largest sort of umbrella group, you know, Shura, is, as you know, is an Arabic term for consultation. They're the ones that really connect all the different Muslim groups in Southern California. They started doing several years ago an open mosque day because so many non-Muslims never been inside a mosque, don't know what it's like. And if you think that if you're told these mosques are training ground for terrorists, then you're nervous. You know, if you see every Friday a thousand brown people, you know, coming into your neighborhood, all of a sudden you might get, you know, suspicious of what's going on. I'm not saying that Americans are racist, but there's certainly a racist history here, you know, in uh, America there. And so something like open mosque state, say, no, no, come on in, see what we do. You know, especially now, as I said, Ramadan is coming up in two weeks. Everything's going to be amped up at the masajid, you know, the tarawiyah prayers, the iftars, you know, all that kind of thing. Create those spaces for people to come in and see who you are. So that's been, I think, a really good thing. Part of it is trying to do some uh, uh, public relations kinds of things. So MPAC, the Muslim Public Affairs Council that's based out of here, has done some really good work working with, the, they have a Hollywood bureau where they consult with different um, Hollywood uh, production houses, both film and television, you know, doing Im shows about images of Muslims, that kind of work. 